Alrighty guys, like I said, I am here with the Aquarium Industries team and uh, put up a couple of tanks together for them as well as did a talk that I uh, posted up earlier. But this is the tank that I've put together. It's a uh, Aqua One uh, three foot tank and it's stacked with all coral from Monsoon Aquatics um, and just a really basic uh, reefing setup. Uh, we're running a couple of the Azu lights that are available from New Life Aquarium. Um, and for this style of scape, I've gone more for a uh, a shelving type of uh, display that allows you to really just show all the coral uh, rather than the typical displays that I do that are very very open. I didn't have any glue or any epoxy available for this so this is all live rock that's stacked in and uh, all the coral have actually opened up. Fantastic. I thought it was pretty good. It probably looks better than my home tank to be honest but uh, used all live rock for this tank um, and uh, you know we've got a, an arrangement of Cinellaria, hammers, torches, frog spawns, heliofungia, elegance corals that have opened up really nice and big up the front here and some of my true loves the Goniopora over there so a really basic setup with a stack full of clowns in there we also did this uh, frag tank over here which is also frags from Monsoon Aquatics some absolutely stunning frags uh, with a couple of designer clowns there in the tank as well so um, thank you to the aquarium industries team for having me a part of their booth and uh, being able to uh, show to the masses you know uh, the lovely aquariums that we have they've gone all out with their booth here they've got like a little aquascaping section that all the kids can uh, build their uh, build their scapes with We've got Mr. Fukada-san, which is the number one aquascaper in the world from Japan, who spent about three days so far uh, building this incredible scape here. And watching him just work is just like absolutely mesmerizing. He takes his time, thinks about it. He cut all these pieces of uh, driftwood to fit, stacked it, and this is all done since Friday, which is pretty incredible. We've got Mr. Adrian Weinberg chatting over there uh, in the talk area to the crowds. Mr. Fakata Sun's going up now. And this tank here is a tank from uh, the owner of Aquarium Industries, uh, his study, which is, uh, would you call that a paludarium, Adrian? Uh, yeah, somewhere between a vivarium. So, palo is supposed to be one third or more. Yeah. Uh, vivarium, sort of one quarter or less. Okay. Yeah, so Daniel and I built this tank. Beautiful. And this is his personal tank at home, and that's absolutely beautiful. I looked at that and I really want to have one myself at home but this booth has been absolutely buzzing with heaps and heaps of people as you can see everyone is here keen for this absolutely keen for this talk I'm gonna shoot out the back so we can just get a picture of how many people are actually here for this booth it's amazing absolute superstar that guy right there well, that's that's the aquarium industries booth and thank you guys for having me oh by the way check out these little biobes little spheres just hanging with a little light on top of them and just with some a little bit of water or some uh, air plants or mosses and stuff like that they are absolutely beautiful having that hanging in your house will be absolutely stunning and the kids are having a ball just building their own aquascapes a well done team aquarium industries why are you in all my videos man <laughs> I do want to take one of these home, actually. I do want to take one of these home. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Hi, guys.